The Honeywell JetWave series of long-range satellite communication products are designed for high reliability to meet the most stringent, non-emergency, high-speed data requirements for the next generation of business and air transport aircraft. The JetWave series of satellite communications products provides a simple and cost-effective solution to provide a truly high-speed broadband data connectivity between the aircraft and terrestrial communications networks. JetWave systems can be installed as a non-emergency satellite communication standalone configuration on aircraft that are not currently SATCOM equipped, or they can be installed to supplement an existing SATCOM system. The system provides an aircraft crew and passengers with significantly improved internet speeds on business aircraft with an installed tail mount antenna. Larger transport category aircraft may install a fuselage mount antenna which can support even greater download and upload speeds. System performance is based upon service level agreement which consists of committed information rate and maximum information rate. Currently, the system is authorized and supportive to provide the following aviation communication services, aeronautical passenger communications and aeronautical administrative communications. The JetWave system hardware and software components that are physically located on the aircraft are collectively known as the Aircraft Earth Station. The AES is just one component of an overall larger system known as the KA-Band SATCOM system. The basic system components are known as segments, and they are the satellite access station segment. The SASs are fixed located ground stations that are positioned at strategic locations worldwide. They each provide a link between the AES and the terrestrial data networks via the satellite segment. The AES segment is the group of hardware and software components that are on board the aircraft. This group of components, built by Honeywell, is known as the JetWave system. The AES communicates with a particular SAS via the satellite segment to provide the aircraft crew and passengers with high-speed data connectivity using groups of uplink and downlink radio communication channels. The satellite segment consists of a constellation of three individual operational satellite plus one spare satellite that are all in geosynchronous orbit. These satellites are owned, operated, and supported by a company called MRSAT, which is based in London, England. The satellites are called MRSAT F5 for the fifth generation of such satellites. The satellites act as a data relay between the AES and the SAS. The JetWave system that uses a tail mount antenna incorporates three fail-safe features to limit the potential for human exposure to ionizing radiation. The system does not transmit unless the receiver receives a valid signal. Therefore, if the received signal becomes blocked, the transmitter is disabled. For example, if you try to operate the system while the aircraft is parked inside a hangar. The antenna subsystem includes a hardware end stop that prevents the antenna from pointing more than 2 degrees below horizontal. An input into the system is wired on the aircraft to a switch in the cockpit to disable RF transmission. The minimum safe distance for a system that uses a fuselage mount antenna during transmission is 66.6 .6 feet or 20.3 meters. There are currently three I-5 satellites in geostationary orbit above the surface of the Earth at an altitude of approximately 35,700 kilometers or 22,300 miles. The satellites and their orbital positions are as follows. The Indian Ocean region serving Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and Western Asia. The Atlantic Ocean region serving North and South America. And lastly, the Pacific Ocean region serving eastern parts of Asia and the Pacific Ocean. Each Boeing 702 HP satellite was designed and built by the Boeing Company and has the following general characteristics. Two solar panels with a total wingspan of 33.8 meters or 111 feet that can generate up to 15 kilowatts at start of life and 13.8 kilowatts of electrical power at the end of life. It has 89 narrow KA fixed spot beams for high speed data connectivity and six steerable spot beams for high capacity use. It includes dual lithium ion batteries for backup power 
and has a total mass of 3,750 kilograms of weight. The global coverage map has true worldwide coverage minus the poles. The overlapping of the global and narrow beam allows for seamless transition of service. The dark blue area shows the true coverage based upon primary shipping lanes and air routes. The light blue area in the southern hemisphere represents an area where there is no coverage. Jetwave airtime services are provided by three different segments, business aviation, air transport, and defense and space. The primary LRUs in the Jetwave SATCOM system are the Modman, the Candu, the KRFU, and the Antenna. The Modman provides the following functions. Main control of the Jetwave system. This is where the main processor hardware and operational mode software reside for the system. The Modman produces RF excitation signals to the KA band RF unit to be upconverted to the KA band frequencies and amplified. The Modman also receives the down-converted KARF frequencies from the KRFU for signal processing. Calibration of the RF input-output loop is also a responsibility of the Modman. The built-in test equipment maintenance information from the Modman, as well as other Jetwave system components, is communicated to and is accessible from the Modman. Discrete inputs and outputs, such as weight on wheels, are available to the system from the Modman. The Modman supports Ethernet interfaces for IFE systems, airline information systems that support flight crews, and passenger-owned devices such as laptop computers, tablets, and smartphones. The CANDU provides the following functions. Electrical power control signals and monitoring for the antenna. The CANDU supports two separate Airink 429 navigational interfaces used for antenna steering using inputs such as FMS data, GPS, and IRU data. Stabilization and tracking for the antenna. The CANDU contains hardware and software necessary to control the antenna system. It also continuously monitors the position of the antenna and makes corrections as necessary. The KRFU provides the following functions. The blockup converter converts the L-band IF frequencies from the Modman to the KA-band frequencies necessary for the high power amplifier, which is also contained within the KRFU. The HPA amplifies the low power signal from the buck to the level necessary to drive the antenna elements and communicate with the satellites. The block down converter converts the KA band frequencies from the antenna to L band frequencies necessary for Modman. The antenna provides the following functions. The antenna aperture is the antenna element that transmit and receives the RF energy between the satellite and the aircraft. The low noise amplifier amplifies the received RF radio signals from the satellite. It also contains an inertial measurement unit for reporting feedback to CANDU for fine-tuned steering. The antenna position motors and synchros move the antenna element and monitor its position in real time. <laughs> 